Why is Elon so excited about the upcoming Battery Day? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Earlier this year on the Q1 2020 conference call, Elon Musk said that Battery Day would be one of the most exciting days in Tesla's history. Here's Elon Musk talking about that. Um, yeah, actually, we're just, I, I, we don't want to preempt Battery Day. Um, we want, you know, want to leave the exciting news for, for that day. But there will be a, a lot of exciting news to, to tell. Um, and I think it, it will be one of the most exciting days in, in Tesla's history. Before we continue on talking about Tesla's Battery Day and why it's such a big deal, I'd like to take a moment to thank these Patreon supporters. A special thank you goes out to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and Inku Kang, and also the rest of my Patreon supporters, which support me every month and help me bring this content to you. It's with the help of these Patreon supporters that I'm able to make this content. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. There have been a lot of people, including myself, that have put out videos talking about what Tesla might reveal at Battery Day. And in this video, I want to dwell more on why it's important and why Battery Day is such a big deal. I believe Elon Musk is so excited about Battery Day because this is where Elon and the Tesla team are going to lay out how they can achieve the future that Tesla has been working towards for over a decade. The two biggest factors that have limited EV adoption and really Tesla in general has been the cost of batteries, the cost to produce these batteries and put them in electric vehicles, and also the supply of batteries. This not only holds back their EVs, but it also holds back their energy storage division for Tesla Energy. Without the cost of batteries coming down and the supply of batteries going up, Tesla cannot truly accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and sustainable transportation. Here's Elon Musk talking about this exact thing on the Q4 2019 conference call. The thing we're going to be really focused on is uh, increasing uh, battery uh, production capacity because that's very fundamental because you know, if you don't improve battery production capacity, then you end up just shifting uh, unit volume from one product to another, and you haven't actually produced more electric vehicles. It's, it's, we've got to scale battery production to crazy levels that people cannot even fathom today. That's the real problem. Um, so we, we've got to really make sure we, we, we get a, a very steep ramp in bat battery production um, and continue to improve the cost per kilowatt hour of the batteries. This is this is very fundamental um, and extremely difficult. How do you get from here to, I don't know, a couple thousand gigawatt hours a year or something? Not only is supply a big issue, but also Elon Musk is wanting to drive down the cost of electric vehicles and the cost of Tesla vehicles. Here's Elon Musk talking about the cost of Tesla's vehicles. Like the thing that bugs me the most about where we are right now is that our cars are not affordable enough. Uh, we need to we need to fix that. Like I think just we want to be like slightly profitable and maximize growth and make the cars as affordable as possible. That's like what, what we're trying to achieve. So battery cost is a big issue and also battery supply is a big issue. But when you put those two things together and you solve both of those, that allows you to provide a less expensive, long range electric vehicle that can truly replace an internal combustion engine vehicle. While the 250 miles of range offered by the Model 3 Standard Range Plus is sufficient for most use cases, in order to fully and practically replace an internal combustion engine car, a 300 plus mile range is necessary. Here's Elon Musk talking about that on the Q2 2020 conference call. I, th I think the new normal for range is gonna be, just in US EPA terms, uh, you know, approximately 300 miles. So I think people will really come to expect that as um, you know, some number close to 300 miles as, as normal, you know, that, that, that's a standard expectation. Uh, because you do need to take into account, like, 
you know, is it very hot outside or very cold? Or, you know, do, are you driving up a tall mountain um, with, with a full load? Uh, and, and it's, uh, you know, people don't want to have a, you know, get, get to the destination with like uh, 10 miles range. They, they want some reasonable, reasonable margin. So I think 300 is going to be really, or close to 300 is going to be the new normal. You know, close 500 kilometers, basically. So the truth is, as Elon Musk pointed out, Tesla's vehicles are still out of reach for a lot of people. They're very expensive. And Tesla and Elon Musk is currently working to reduce those costs. So why is Battery Day such a big deal and why is Elon Musk so excited? I believe it's because Tesla is going to lay out a future where there are plenty of batteries and also they are low enough in cost that Tesla can mass produce very affordable electric vehicles for the masses. And electric vehicles will be able to overtake internal combustion engine vehicles, not only with cost, but also like they do now with performance. In order to demonstrate where the cost of electric vehicles needs to be before they can really start taking over a lot more market share, I think it's important to look at the three best selling vehicles in three different categories for 2019. In the United States, the Ford F-150 was a best selling pickup truck with almost 900,000 units sold. The Toyota RAV4 was a best-selling SUV in the United States in 2019 with just over 400,000 units sold. And the Toyota Camry was a best-selling four-door sedan in the United States, selling somewhere around 337,000 units in 2019. When you look at the starting MSRP range of these vehicles and you get somewhere in the middle and make that the average purchase cost for these vehicles, you can see that in order for a truck to sell really well, an electric truck, it needs to fall right in that $49,000 price range and offer performance very similar or greater. An SUV needs to be right around that $30,000 price range and a sedan needs to also be right around that $30,000 price range. When the Tesla Cybertruck comes out, it's going to be right at that right price point. The dual motor Cybertruck will start right around that $49,000 price point, and that'll make it very comparable in price to the Ford F-150, so parity will have been reached there. If you compare the average price of the RAV4 to the average price of the Model Y, the long range version, you can see there that we still have a little bit to go before that reaches parity. If you compare the long range Model 3, you can see that it's also quite a bit more expensive than an average Toyota Camry. I believe one of the biggest revelations that we'll learn at Battery Day is that Tesla is going to be able to produce batteries at the pack level for $100 per kilowatt hour. This $100 per kilowatt hour at the pack level has long been pointed to as the goal and the inflection point when electric vehicles reach cost parity with gas burning internal combustion engine vehicles. It is important to differentiate here too to emphasize that we're talking about $100 not at the cell level but we're talking about $100 at the pack level. The completed pack with all the materials, with all the protection, with all the casings at $100. I fully believe that Tesla has figured out with all the technology advancements that we've been hearing about, with the acquisitions they've been making, Maxwell and Hybar, etc., I believe they have figured out a production method for battery packs that will cost $100 per kilowatt hour, and that will allow electric vehicles to reach cost parity with internal combustion engine vehicles. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, cost is obviously a big deal and we've talked about that, but also battery supply is a big issue and I believe Tesla will very clearly address this at battery day as well. Tesla is about to need a ton more batteries than they can even produce right now, but the good news is I believe they have the plan to do this. They have new factories going up in Austin, Texas, and also in Germany. They are continuing to build out their factory in Shanghai, and I believe each one of these new factories will produce batteries. To illustrate just how many batteries, how many gigawatt hours of battery capacity that Tesla is going to need, I want to talk about their different vehicles and the different segments of their business, and as they ramp up, how many batteries will they need to meet their goals. 
If you assume that the average Tesla battery pack is somewhere around 74 kilowatt hours and they sell 1 million EVs, they would need 74 gigawatt hours to supply the batteries for those 1 million vehicles. As you can see there, as those numbers increase, the gigawatt hours get to a very high level. The Tesla Semi could possibly need somewhere around 1,000 kilowatt hours per truck for that 500 mile range. And as you can see there, this is also going to consume a lot of batteries. Tesla is also rolling out their mega packs, which each one of these have a 3000 kilowatt hour capacity. And in order to fully ramp this up, that's also going to take a lot of batteries as well as their power packs. And of course the power walls for individual garages. So Elon Musk is so excited about battery day and battery day is such a big deal because Tesla will reveal the future when supply and cost will no longer be an issue and Tesla can truly meet the massive global demand for EVs and battery storage. At battery day, we will find out just how close we are to this reality and we can finally put an end to the internal combustion engines dominance. Internal combustion engines will soon be obsolete. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button so other people can find the video. Thank you so much.